Temperature is one of the most important indicators, which are used in various branches of science and technology. Temperature cannot be measured directly. Its changes are measured on the basis of changes in other physical properties of bodies – volume, pressure, electrical resistance, EMF, radiation intensity, and so on – associated with the temperature by certain objective laws. Therefore, the methods of temperature measurement are basically the methods of measuring the above-mentioned properties, which should depend on temperature and could be measured simply and accurately. To measure the temperature using any method, we first need to choose a temperature scale. Temperature measurements were performed for the first time long before the creation of molecular kinetic theory. Therefore, the practical scales measure the temperature in conventional units, degrees, like all other units of measurement of physical quality, quantities, such as weight, volume, and so on. The temperature scale had a long evolution. Many previously used temperature scales, such as the scales of Rima, Newton, Rankine, Rima, now can be only of historical interest. Nowadays, there are three temperature scales that can be actually used. In thermodynamics, the Kelvin scale is used, in which the temperature is measured starting from the absolute zero, the state corresponding to the linear theoretically possible internal energy of the body. The second fixed point is the triple point of water, the state when solid ice, liquid water, and wa water vapor can exist in equilibrium, and temperature is equal to 273.15 K precisely. This scale is used in researches and is rarely used in practice. The widest practical application has been gained by the Celsius scale, in which freezing point of water is second for zero, and 100 degrees is the boiling point of water at atmospheric pressure. The Celsius scale is very convenient in practice, as the water is very common on our planet and is the basis of our life. Another advantage of this scale is the equality of degrees Celsius and Kelvin degrees, so you can easily switch from one scale to the other. In the United States and some English-speaking countries, the Fahrenheit scale is still used. The scale has undergone some in modifications that it was first introduced. At the present time, the following definition of the Fahrenheit scale is accepted. It is a temperature scale, one degree of which is equal to 1 divided by 108 of the temperature difference between the boiling water point and the ice melts in one atmospheric pressure, and the melting point of ice has a temperature of 32 degrees Fahrenheit, thus 0 degrees Celsius is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and 1 degree Fahrenheit is 5 ninth of the degrees Celsius. If we need to convert the temperature of the Fahrenheit scale to Celsius, one and vice versa, the following relations should be used. Some devices control the temperature both in Celsius and Fahrenheit degrees.